It get hotter in the summer, yeah. Hotter in the summer. The wind it don't stand no change. One thing that has been pissing me off is my adult responsibilities. So I was at the pyramid today and I got a lot of freaking work done. And I feel like, I feel like that is losing its meaning, even though it's not, cause I am truly getting a lot of work done. Um, but it is frustrating because even though I'm getting a lot of work done, I'm not finished and I'm trying my best to be done. <laughs> but I've made a lot of strides with the work that I have left and that feels pretty good. Um, I am constantly in battle with myself when it comes to feeling like you're taking too long, but then having to constantly remind myself, this is a self-imposed deadline. Nobody is making you get this done in a certain amount of time. If it takes 12 years, if it takes one year, if it takes one month. And so, um, I don't know, I guess being fully transparent, because I'm sure others feel the same way. And sometimes things sound better <clears throat> or make more sense um, when you hear someone else say it. So if you are, writing or creating in any capacity and you feel as if there's a shelf life to your product you are incorrect that product ip ideal fanfic anything it can it, it can withstand um and i've also been consuming a lot of uh media from books y'all know anime y'all know i've been on my anime kick and i'm having a good time quick aside i finished solo leveling only one season i'm not certain if i mentioned it here but my homegirl who put me on to it i cussed her smooth the fuck out how dare you recommend an anime that is so good and has only one season that has been my frustration with anime for so long i've been watching it for years and i've watched countless types and that's one of the things that i do love about anime is that there is going to be a show for every interest you like sports you like cooking you like fighting you like deep storylines you like fun comfy cozy show. like there's something for everybody but there's not always a season two and that this is me. Um, so when I go and try to find me new anime and new shows to watch, I generally try to find things that have multiple seasons so that I can, if I like it and I get immersed in that world, I have more time to spend with it, which is something that I kind of think of or consider when I'm writing myself. Um, not that every single book has to be a series, but you know, you want to give enough for people to sink their teeth into and want more and want to exist in that world. Um, there was a video I saw, oh, maybe a couple days ago and it asked um, for readers and for authors, specifically authors, but readers, what, were, what book have you read that you would love to exist in? And then for writers, it was, would you, survive living in the world that you are uh, you've created like your most recent work in progress and that question is so so interesting so I think I might break down and get into both questions <laughs> and answer as a reader and as an author uh, but before all of that I freaking love me some anime but this solo leveling what I'm noticing is that some of these properties, I, I'm i not into them right away. It maybe takes a full episode or it takes a little bit longer. Like solo leveling, the first episode, it is about adults, albeit young adults, like 20 something and up, but it's about adults. And the main character, I was like, I don't know, there's something about this dude that's throwing me off. But once you get into it and you see why he's the way he is and then what comes after the arc that he goes on it's like okay that makes sense there's no other way you could have begun this with that character but i was so annoyed and um on the flip side with my hero academia deku was pissed at me the manga. i was like this silly ass kid but then yeah this is a child that boy was like in the beginning they did flashbacks of being like a six-year-old but then um present day he was like 12 yeah, 13, maybe 14, because they, yeah, 13, 14, because he went off to the superhero high school. But all that being said, don't 
another lesson to take from this don't count yourself out just because something don't resonate initially give it a little bit of a chance so um yeah doing big shit we ain't doing nothing average hotter in the summer if you ask it Alright, so um, let's get into <laughs> this reader author stuff. So as a reader, the question is, um, what world from what book you've recently read would you uh, want to exist in? And so I have like the most recent read I started was Kinderella, uh, a politician romance or a political romance by Danielle Brooks. Sistrin is killing it. So I'm at the beginning of it, but the characters are Kennedy was the main character and Jameson is the love interest. Jameson is this politician. I want to say he's the mayor. Um, Kennedy is a uh, one of the business owners in the city center and they have this kind of Cinderella style meet cute trash talking but also like standing my ground you ain't about to have me be your arm candy for the uh, constituents you ain't about to use me type shit I'm enjoying that I think of course I would love to exist in that world be in this romantic political uh black space that's just look at all these sexy beautiful business <laughs> no all in all truly that that world is very similar to our own it's the real world so um that's one i have been reading uh comics like crazy i went back and reread x-men gold number one from 2017 for some other stuff a different video and some kind of a sort of essay that i was um that i was dealing with but i would love okay so if i can get nerdy for a second x-men i do not understand why anyone lives in new york in the marvel universe everybody lives there all the villains all the heroes all the mutants all the avengers i'm not staying there i'm moving as far away from y'all as i possibly can cannot go to california because there is the uh, West Coast Avengers over there, but they ain't doing nearly as much damage as everybody concentrated in New York. I would probably move to Atlanta. I'd probably move to Texas. Uh, Iowa, maybe a flyover state, because you did not have no villain attacks there. Um, so no, I would not want to live in, <laughs> in the world of the X-Men unless I can be a genetically enhanced mutant who can take care of my own because going to that school you know you're going to be a child soldier <laughs> in the army of xavier uh so that would be a hard no um what else did i start i started blood at the root um prologue and maybe a couple chapters in it's an interesting read i'm still kind of figuring out how i feel about it um where i am in the story magic has been introduced and that story, much like others that I've read, is very similar to the real world, the world that we're in now. Um, so I'm going to put a tentative yes on that one because I haven't made it far in that book. Um, what else have I read? Um, Lord, what is the name of that? Lore of the Wild. Um, I think I stopped. I stopped that a little bit ago. I liked it. It's very fey, paranormal, medieval. Like it, it's given that, and it's doing it well enough. But like, I the way these people are being treated, and I wouldn't want to live there because me being a human, the way the humans are treated is very rough. Good Lord, like the, not even just like the injustices of like, they're treating you bad. They're treating you like you're beneath them, but it's like the magical systemic issues that are placed on these humans to a point where it is altering their mood and their feelings and, and not, which is already bad enough, but not in a way that like generational curses and generational traumas being passed down. No, this is quite literally magically induced trauma from the mo most minor movements. And I, what spoiler for some of that, but there is this camp of humans that are in this city far removed from the kingdom. 
and Laura, the main character, she is enlisted to go back with the Fae to the kingdom to pretty much like a Beauty and the Beast type thing. She has to look through these books and figure out magic. Oh, just that part doesn't matter. But it is the anxiety and pressure that she feels from walking through the human space, going through the woods and getting on the edge of this area where you could like essentially escape to freedom, just go out and explore the world. There is a magically induced anxiety that happens to any humans that get that far in that they have to just turn back and ruin. And I'm like, what the, this is fucking diabolical. No, I do not want to live here. And so when she's forced to move through that space, it is very traumatic. But once she comes out on the, on the other side, the realization that, oh, these motherfuckers put magic on us to force us into this one space out of sight, out of mind, which is huh, too, too real, too real. If it's up to that and, and X-Men in New York, I'm living in X-Men New York because that shit, bruh, no. So uh, those are some of my most recent reads and how I would feel about existing in those spaces because, geez, <laughs> so what are yours as the reader? Okay, so as an author, could I survive in my work in progress? So in the one that I'm doing now where I have the Do It series where y'all know I've been pushing to get this thing done absolutely. It's essentially our world. It's a contemporary love story. Uh, a story about the black experience being a middle-aged woman and a young adult 20-something guy um and uh, just stuff that they're dealing with yeah i could it's set in california for the most part the second book kind of takes you outside of california where we're in the the midwest for that portion but absolutely i could exist there i could hang out and be friends with some of these people like that's my we in there now if we're talking about work in progress is across the board absolutely not well actually yeah i think i would thrive but I have my contemporary works that I'm working on. I have my duet series, which would be the first series that I'll be releasing. And then I have some other standalone books that are in the same universe, but they are still just contemporary stories, some romance, some love, some drama, some just the gambit of the human experience. But there is some paranormal stuff that I got going on that exposes some of the other creatures and things that exist in this world where well, i guess it would be considered like urban fantasy um paranormal urban fantasy dealing with magical beings you're dealing with secret societies um hidden communities that are like right there in your face but they're hidden and just all of that stuff now and some of those so i have my project slaughter that is still contemporary in a sense that it's, it's present day it's the you know 2000s and in that one it is a lot of as it stands now espionage it's a lot of paranormal stuff happening it's a lot of killing and assassinating and some loving and all that so in that as as I as I me as I am right now, I don't know, man. I'd have to do, I have to get a lot of upgrades <laughs> to myself um, in my lifestyle so that I could kind of be on par with them main characters because them uh, they getting it in. Um, my other project that's kind of on the back end. It is more of a period piece um now that i don't know that i would want to exist in that world uh project uh ecv um we'll get more into both of these projects at a later date but um dealing with a being a period piece you know black folks in time travel if we're doing fantasy and and fun and fancy free sure but if we're talking time travel in the sense that like we're going back in time to any point in time in the last 400 to 800 years oh no but <laughs> I'm, I'm being dramatic but like am i um even in that book i think i can make it like i'm I, I, in all of the books that are not contemporary that are pretty much existing in this world that we have i feel like i would have to 
I think I would have to I would have to do some upgrading. I would have to definitely write myself in with certain attributes or accessories or money <laughs> that you need to survive. Um, I think I have the instinct to maneuver and not end up on the kitchen floor with my head cut off. So <laughs> on the author side of things, sure. I have a few more works in progress. A lot of them do have a lot of them, like there's a spy series that I've honestly been writing for years. And when I mean years, I mean years. Like they were like a series of novellas that I'm revamping to kind of flush out. Um, those, same thing. It would just, for that one, I think though, it would simply be like getting getting my mental together because the shit that I put them people do is ridiculous. Um, there is a Dark Academia series that I have. Now that is, that skews on the younger, um, the characters being a bit younger. Me at their age, sure, I could hack it. Me as my adult age, existing in that world, I think I'd be okay. Um, I'd be like, who are these crazy ass kids and what the fuck are they doing? <laughs> Y'all don't want to go to class and learn? Uh, <laughs> uh, what else? I have so many manuscripts that I've just... Oh, then there's the Project Summer. Now that, now, again, a lot of my stuff is contemporary. Maybe this wasn't the best question. Y'all tell me. <laughs> because a lot of my stuff are contemporary. They are kind of modern day stories. They're not all love and romance. Some of them are just like this slice of life drama that is the experience of living and learning and growing and experiencing and bumping heads with not always an antagonist that is a person that is trying to take you down. Sometimes it's love. Sometimes it's getting in your own way. Sometimes it's the job that you want, uh, that you get that you don't feel like you're qualified for, even though you hold the qualifications. It is um, the dating, but not the dating part. It's the, okay, now that I've joined this union, how do I exist in this person's space in their world when they have a whole life of their own, be it children, be it family, be it career. Um, it is battling with dealing with your, uh, mental health and how do you show up for yourself to make sure that your mental health is okay and that you can exist, um, as your true self and not, um, solely by your diagnosis. Um, it, there's just, so in those stories, sure. But when you get into the paranormal and all that, there's some things I might have to do. <laughs> so y'all let me know as a reader, what have you read recently? What books have you read? So I can get some new suggestions and let me know, do you think you would, uh, like to exist in those worlds? And if you are a writer in, in whatever stage of writing, be it the planning stage, be it you got several books out, be it you release one book, be it you write fan fiction. I don't care what it is as a writer, as someone who are creative, even let's, let's expand it. If you're a painter, if you're a voice actor, if you are a, I don't know, you do you color in books, like whatever, do you think you would exist in the world of your creation? Oof, this was fun. Okay, so all that being said, I'm Rain Coleman. I am an author. Uh, follow me on this indie author journey. I write stories about black people in varying stages and varying um, genres. I'm dealing with the contemporary right now, but as you see, I do the paranormal. I can do the drama. I'm trying to get into a little bit of horror. Horror. <laughs> um, I do the dark academia, all that good stuff, whatever. Now I write stories. That's what I do. Um, follow me at all of the social media stuff. It should be linked below. Um, and let me know what are some books you're reading? Could you exist in that world? Do you have any suggestions for me? And if you are someone who is considering writing, do it. Even if you don't publish, even if it's just for family, even if it's just for you, write, get those thoughts out. So that being said, we'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace. Went from wearing Chuck Taylor to Balenciaga. Sweaty n think I'm rubbing on the genie bottom. Give it not a saying, not a I'm just pushing product. I made my waves in the winter, now my summer hotter. Catch up. Move through Swift for all the lame shit. You asking for a favor, how I know we ain't the same, bitch. Watch how in and out lane switch. They trying to earn cheese off a of K, but they ain't Swiss. Summer.